it's Reagan and today I have a very exciting video. I have a what I got for Christmas haul, a haul of some very exciting glasses as well as my December favorites. December is always one of my favorite months. Not only is it a holiday month but I get to see my family and it's just all in all a very relaxing time for me. I feel like I catch up on a lot of things in my life that I have missed from like favorite movies to TV shows and all of those sorts of things so I'm very excited to film this video. So without further ado let's go ahead and dive right in. The first part of this video is going to be my glasses haul and let me just pop on a pair of my frames to start this segment but this is an especially special segment as you guys know I am a ambassador for glassesusa.com I frequently work with them they are my favorite place to buy glasses they have a huge selection at incredibly affordable prices and they come to you pretty quickly as well which is just top notch but the reason why I'm especially excited to talk about these four new frames I have today is because they are the Peruse frames. They're named after me, which is a wild thing to say and honestly a life goal unlocked. But it was so fun to select the frame that I thought would are honestly like my favorite. These are now my four favorite pairs of glasses. So I'm super excited to show them off for you today. The first pair I'm wearing is the Peruse in Tortoise, which I think is a perfect classic glasses. I love tortoise um, shaded glasses. I think they're just kind of classy. They go really nice with pretty much everything and they're just like a nice pop. I like how bold they are. The Peruse frame itself is really round but not too small so I think it's like a really classic glasses that's just flattering for a lot of different types of faces. I'm a huge fan. I also have the Peruse frame in this color which I think might be my favorite. It's kind of a nude clear shade. It's not like exactly crystal clear, but it's mostly clear, which is like a hint of this like light brown, which I love so much. I think it's such a cool color. Ugh, I just feel so glam. Next is this really awesome like muted blue color, which I also just think is so fun. It has a bit of like clearness to it, but it's still quite bold with this bluish pop of color, which I, ugh, I just think is so fun. I love it. I love them. And the very last frame to show off to you guys is the Peruse frame in black. It's just the perfect classic frame to add to your collection and to have in my collection. You can't go wrong with a black frame, honestly. It goes with every single thing in your life and in your wardrobe. Alrighty guys, that is my glasses haul from Glasses USA. Per usual, I'll have all of the glasses linked down below if you're interested, as well as a link to my page on their site, as well as there being information to a discount down below as well. Well, okay, I'm so excited to have these frames. They're just so perfect. Wow, what a world. Alrighty, now let's move into the Christmas haul portion of this video. Per usual, the best part about the holidays for me was spending it with my family, but I was lucky enough to get a few gifts from them, which I adore to no end, and I'm excited to show off. I'm going to start with the two presents that Clay actually got me. Um, we exchanged gifts a little before Christmas. The first thing he got me is really teeny tiny. It is a pair of AirPods, which I feel like everyone is getting this holiday season. But honestly, I'm obsessed with them already. Um, every single one of my coworkers have these and I see them on the subway all the time. And they've already changed my life. Like, they're so great. I love not having cords. I love just having AirPods in. Sometimes I don't even play music. But no one bothers me on the train when I have these in. It's amazing. And the second and last thing he got me was this amazing Lego set. It is the Lego Harry Potter set, which is incredible. We're gonna build it, I think, on a weekend and just have a grand old time. Maybe a really cold, snowy, wet weekend or something. But yeah, I'm really excited to have this. I think he was just as excited to purchase this for me and actually go to the Lego store and buy it. And it's kind of like a dual gift because we're going to do it together. But I'm super pumped and I hope this is the first of many Lego sets we do together. Now moving on to a few gifts my mom got me and my stepdad. The first is a lovely anthropology candle. My mom knows me oh so well and she knows that these candles are my life. They're my favorite thing. I buy them in bulk every time they're on sale. There's always one burning in my apartment. They're the best candles. So she got me a nice post-holiday smell, a classic volcano scent, 
it's incredible. She also picked me up this adorable little R notebook, which I plan to bring to work once I'm back in the office. I take a lot of notes. It's nice to always have something like this on hand. It's really, really portable, and it came with a really cute little gold pen. Clay and I, she picked up Mario Party for us, which we have been playing nonstop. This game has been so much fun life-changing. I'm honestly sore. Like, my shoulder is sore for how much I have been playing this game. I just love Mario Party. I know there's, like, most people really love Super Smash Brothers, but I'm not a big Super Smash Brothers fan. I never have, but I've always loved Mario Party. And I like how you can play, you know, against each other, but with each other. It's so fun. I love the Switch. Moving on to a few clothing items. The first thing is these pair of shearling vans that are suede. These are so cool. Like my mom is way cooler than me. I don't even know where she found these. I will look on the internet and try to find them for you guys down below. But yeah, like how cool. I'm a real skater girl now, but I'm a winter one because these are shearling and waterproof and suede. Next item is this big soft scarf which I have been kind of looking for. I wanted a very wrappable, very soft scarf for when it gets cold. Um, and so she picked me up this guy and it's honestly so perfect. Softest thing ever. And the last two things she got me was first this sweater. It is this cable knit green sweater which I love and this is from J. Crew, and it has little pom-poms down the front. I know she got this on a really good sale so I'll try to find it linked down below. I also know they have a bunch of colors. I bought one in red so I already know that but uh yeah I love this. I love the green color. I think it's really really pretty. And the very last thing my mom picked up for me for the holidays is this off the shoulder, ooh it's sassy, a uh, cream sweater from Anthropology. She loves off the shoulder and I love off the shoulder too. So this was really, really cute. I really liked the cream color of it. It'll look nice with like a hair ribbon. As we all know, I wear too many of. So I'm really excited to have this. It was such a thoughtful gift and I love it so much. And the last few things I'm going to show off are things I bought myself for Christmas because sometimes you just gotta treat yourself. You know what I mean? So the first one is this sweater coat from um, Madewell. My coworker has this in like a tan color and she wears it a lot and I really really wanted it. <laughs> so I found it in gray, different color, on sale um, and I picked it up. It just honestly, it's just it's so versatile because it is a sweater coat, so it's really great to wear around the office, but you can layer it over sweaters because it's pretty structured still, so it's a really great in-between situation to wear under coats, but still in the office when you're chilly because I'm always chilly. I bought this camisole. I bought this specifically for New Year's, I think, and just like in general, but I think it'd be a good New Year's top to layer over like t-shirts or alone. I like the velvet. I like the like mustard velvet color. So I got this to wear. And then the very last thing I have to show off was sent to me by Jodi Clothing. It is probably my favorite thing of all time. I have to show you guys because I think you will like it a lot too. And it is this sweater that says read more books on it. And honestly, this is the greatest piece of clothing I own. It's the best. It's simply the best thing I now have in my wardrobe. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that is everything I got for Christmas. To quickly move into the December favorites portion of this video, I would first like to mention my Nintendo Switch. I got Mario Party as you saw, but I have just been playing so much Switch. It's been so much fun. Between Mario Party and Pokemon, and we've been playing Mario again and hooking it up to the TV, but it's portability. We played it in a seven hour car ride, Clay and I in the back seat like children. It was so fun. It hits all of my nostalgia buttons. I have not gotten tired of the Switch at all for one second. I've had it for over a year now and it's probably one of the best things I own. It is amazing. Moving on to music. Honestly, the, I've list, been listening to one album and one album only. I cannot put this album down. It's all I ever want to listen to all the time and that is the 1975 album, the new one. I love it so much. I listen to it over and over and over and over again. Another quick music update is I finally agreed to switch over to Spotify um, because 
so then I can make shared playlists with my best friend and Clay, so we'll have more collaborative playlists, which will hopefully mean I'll have more music faves from month to month, because they will be forcing me to listen to something other than the 1975 album, which is my obsession and my one true love. From a movie's perspective, um, Clay and I, Clay more like forced me to watch um, four Rocky movies over this holiday break, which I think is kind of hilarious. I don't know how how I he got me to watch them because I don't really like fighting movies that much but I did and I'm happy I did because now I can finally watch the Creed movies which I love Michael B. Jordan so that's exciting but yeah I watched Rocky 1, 2, 3 and then we skipped Rocky Balboa and then we watched the Cold War one is that correct? A TV show perspective I have been watching pretty much three things. Survivor which is now over which was an incredible season. So much Avatar The Last Airbender. Clay is back on the Avatar train and we are trucking through these episodes and it's been such a joy to rewatch them and I think he's getting more and more into the show which is really great. But yeah ugh, I love Avatar The Last Airbender. Best box set purchase ever. And then I have also been watching so much Friends. We are now already halfway through season three. I'm already loving season season three more than the first two seasons and I just feel like the episodes are gonna get better and better. It was a really fun idea. I'm glad we decided to do it. Um, it's been even better than I thought. I always knew I liked Friends. I've seen a lot of Friends episodes but watching them in order has been really worthwhile and a lot of fun and they're funny. Like I am laughing out loud often especially in season three. It's like some of the best episodes out there. Alrighty guys that is my glasses Christmas haul plus December faves. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I hope everyone has had a lovely holiday. We'll have a wonderful new year and I will see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye.